All right, well, thanks for joining us. My name is Hugh Gonzalez with Mamaki. And today, Anthony Harris uh, from Gravitech uh, has joined us, and he's going to be showing us um, all about Gravitech's business, their abilities for applications. And then we'll talk about uh, how uh, we can unite this with uh, printing. Uh, thank you, Anthony, for joining us. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Hugo. Um, I'm uh, of course Anthony Harris. I'm the director of applications and government contracting for Gravitech. Um, I wear many hats. Uh, do a lot of support with our technical teams as well. Um, here at Gravitech, you know, we kind of have a 360 approach to engraving, personalization, uh, routing, and lasering. So we'll kind of learn a bit about that in the uh, the upcoming segment. Okay, great. Uh, and Anthony and I will uh, turn off our cameras and mics during the video presentation, but feel free to ask us, ask us questions in the chat. Thank you. Technologies is our... We were Gravelgraph. We were Technophore. We were Type 3. We have a rich history of innovations from pantograph to dot peen, from rotary to laser, from software to consumables. The diversity of our technologies is our strength. Together, we are unique. Together, we are Gravotech. Welcome to our new vision, the expression of things. We mark and trace the parts that matter to you. We engrave things to guide you. We unleash your creativity, be it information, messages, and emotions. We give every object the power of expression. We are one team, one brand, one idea. The expression of things. We create smart consumables. We make control and design software. We produce robust, versatile, and easy to use engraving and marking machines. We provide dedicated support all around the world. From production lines to luxury shops, with your applications driving our technologies, we give you the power to identify, inform, and personalize. We shape the future of the expression of things. Together, we are Gravotech. Gravotech produces a wide range of software that drives your business forward. So no matter what your needs, super simple, powerful design, web fulfillment, we have something for everyone. So let's take a look at some of those products now. First, we'll look at uh, ABC template software. This is picture driven, very easy to use software, uh, very popular in retail locations or locations where you have casual employees, part-time employees or seasonal employees. So everything is picture driven. You simply uh, touch or click on the product that you want to engrave, type the sentiment, you verify the positioning of the sentiment live on screen. You have a picture of where that workpiece would go on the machine. You simply clamp the workpiece on, press start. The machine will produce the engraving uh, based on the design that was visually laid out. This software works off of templates, so it's very easy to set up. The next software we'll overview is ABC Composition Software. And as the name implies, engraving is as easy as ABC. So A, we define the plate layout. That can be done by entering in the dimensions or by using the red spotting beam to point to opposing corners. In this illustration, we're using a Galvo laser, so we're nudging the marking field over to where we want it located on the pin. In B, we'll compose the personalization or add the text and then in C we'll select the material that we're going to be engraving and send the job over to the laser. So the laser will make two passes. The first two passes will achieve depth by ablating the material. 
and then it'll make a third pass that's a very quick pass that polishes the finish to add radiance. Now we'll look at Gravistyle. Gravistyle is a unique software for design, cutting, and CAD work when piloting rotary engravers, CNC-based equipment, gantry lasers, and galvo lasers. So it is a unique software. Some of the interesting features that we have within the software are dynamic help functions. So within the software, if you hover your mouse at any point, you will see two icons that appear. One will give you direct access to the instruction manual that's built into the software on using that function. If you need additional information on the function, then you can click the hypertext links that will take you to further explanation on the drawing tools in this case. We also have the ability to access video tutorials within the software. So if we hover over the star, for instance, we'll see a video clip that appears. And within the software, we'll see an instructional of how to use this tool. Typically, there will be two layers to the instructional, the basic layer, which you're seeing here. And then if you hold the F2 button, when you click on that tool, then it gives you an advanced level of functionality within that tool that's very precise. Uh, what we see on the screen now is the composition page. There are two different composition pages, one for graphics, which we're on now, and the other for manipulating text. So here at the point of our cursor, we can quickly just start typing. And you can see that our toolbar changes based on the selection and the functionality that we have. Um, we at this time are in the rotary side of the software for doing design work for CNC based engraving equipment. Um, this software is unique in that it can manage tool paths for rotary engravers very easily. Uh, you can see over on the right that we can easily access and set parameters for the different colors within this cutting job, whether it be engraving, plotting, or a cut line. As well, we can select and manage our tooling, our feed rates, uh, all different parameters that we need within the software. Okay, so full CAD CAM software. With this same design, I can simply click laser and it will convert this job for use with a laser engraving system, whether it be gantry based or Galvo. Uh, if we look over to the right, our tool palette has changed. So our assignments by color now orient them, orientate themselves to working with the laser. So uh, raster fills, raster fills with a added contour or widened line, cutting, vector cutting, or perforations. So easy to assign different areas, uh, different widths, different characteristics, as well as your cutting lines. Okay. We also can see now that our laser marking tab is active. And this is where we control the job going directly to the laser engraver. So we're not using a job manager or a software that stands between uh, the engraving machine and the design software, we directly output to the machine. So here there is a lot of functionality built in for managing how the job's laid out, um, your DPIs, the material database. So here um, I can come in and select the material that I have and automatically the parameters that are optimized for that material will load in, okay? Including DPI, power, speed, uh, focal offsets, et cetera. Additionally, we can uh, work with objects so there's a bitmap editor built into the software, rubber stamp modes, offset cuttings for two-part dies and inlaid work, uh, matrixing functionality, and variable text that allows us to assign a variable field, uh, populate the text that goes into those variable fields from a spreadsheet or an ASCII formatted um, data supply, and then create a matrix to lay out in multi-copy uh, all of our multiple objects uh, with the, the different names on them. 
There's also nesting functionality built in and magic copy that optimizes material use. Okay. Also within the software is print and cut capability. So we can digitally print media and then register and cut that with the laser system PDF that we use to print the uh, gravel box. Then here we can see our PDF. We hit the uh, registration mark and it's going to use the camera on the laser to go out and retrieve the registration fiduciaries and apply the cut lines onto the job. And then we're ready to run the print line um, with the laser system for our finished product. GravStyle has functionality in many languages. So if we press F10 and look at our options page, then here we can select between languages that we would like to have the GravStyle interface interact with us in. And we can see that there are quite a few uh, languages regionally around the world. Uh, this allows customers to share job saves, share processes, say, use, utilize the same equipment globally. So if uh, an account in Germany is manufacturing, also has a location in the United States and a location in Japan, then they can very easily follow the same processes, procedures, share job saves, and utilize the software in the local language. In addition to the 3D capabilities of Gravistyle, Gravitech produces 3Design software. This is a software specifically designed for the jewelry industry. This allows a local jeweler to work with a customer, design in full surfacing dimensions uh, a piece of jewelry, estate jewelry, or produce production jewelry, save those files, transmit them to another jeweler or to a fulfillment house that would then render the finished piece of jewelry that was designed with the client. So this gives the opportunity to create very um, unique pieces of estate jewelry uh, that can be sold and delivered locally to your customer, even though the jeweler may not have full design capabilities. But this allows for the client to sign off on the piece of jewelry before it's ever fabricated. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about our mobile phone designer. It's basically a widget that allows you to utilize QR codes to access portals for self-service, for instance. Uh, in the example here, the customer has uh, scanned the QR code. They're going in and populating the, uh, the name, the job title, uh, the business name, for instance, and submitting their order request. The order request returns a uh, email to the client. The email has uh, a verification a picture of the finished product. It also provides a barcode that when they bring the barcode to the uh, retail center or to the engraving counter, uh, the attendant essentially scans the barcode. The job comes up on the monitor. They can verify the text on it. The layout is pictured on the monitor as well. They place the workpiece into the engraving machine, whether it be a laser or a rotary, and simply press start. Within a few seconds, the finished workpiece uh, is ready to deliver to the client. So this is a revolutionary software that um, makes it very easy for the actual customer buying the product to do all of the design work for you. The, the operator of the machine essentially has no labor involved and just produces the part when the customer arrives at the counter. In this last software segment, let's look at a couple of solutions for e-commerce or web to fulfillment. Notice this website can manage personalized gifts, embroidery, laser engraving, rotary engraving, digital print. So here is uh, a catalog that uh, in this instance, we'll select the Yeti cup. We'll personalize the Yeti cup. So this is template driven. So the customer has choices 
for different designs that can go on, and then they can personalize the text that goes in the designs. There is the possibility to import in designs from the customer as well. Once the, uh, the design is complete, you add the Yeti cup to the shopping cart. Here we're seeing the back office side where we can validate the order, validate payments arrived. Now we select the order that we're ready to process. It recalls the production file. In the production file, we can preview the decoration that's going to go on the uh, product. We can see a photo of the finished product, and we see a photo of how that product should be placed within the laser to send the job over to the engraver and finish the article. So very quick, very easy, uh, essentially picture-driven. So next, let's look at a conceptual portal that could enable a customer to place orders for a retailer online. This could be used for signs, posters, both digital print, routed or engraved signs, as well as lasered products. Here we're looking at a poster. So this would be a printed application. Uh, the customer can select the template of choice and then modify the text within the template simply by selecting the field, retyping. Uh, you will see that within seconds, the template updates itself, the preview updates itself to allow the customer to see exactly what the scale and placement of his text will be. Once the customer makes all edits that are necessary, uh, in some instances, the colors can be changed on the templates. Um, we have the ability to import uh, logos and graphics in to apply them to the template as well just based on the store's needs. So that was laying out a poster. Now let's look at laying out a sign. So again, we pull up the sign template, simply edit the text that we have in the sign. When we're happy with the text, we add it to the shopping cart. Now we can see it in the cart to complete the purchase by submitting a credit card or having it uh, go to our account and immediately a receipt is transmitted to the customer and the job goes into the production software. Thank you for that presentation, Anthony. That's very informative. Um, I definitely did not know the scope of uh, the products that Gravitech offered. So you know, I, I really like watching videos like this. Um, I, for me, it, it was very clearly. I want to know. You know, obviously, you know, I'd love to integrate a machine like this into our print production. Um, so let's see. We have a couple of questions here. Um, you know your 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 software is very you know picture driven you know icon driven it's very easy you know um easy to use it you know um you know how how did you create those templates because i it looked like you just put a piece on there and just started engraving you know how, how are you creating the templates for that yeah so there are a couple of different ways we can create the templates for we we work with a customer if their needs are for just a few templates typically they'll have us prepare those templates for them we offer that service um, if they're going to do a more extensive uh, offering, then we have software that they can use to create those templates. So basically, they would set the engraving job up on their machine, take a couple of photographs of, of the preparation of the machine, and those build the template file. So it's pretty easy um, if you do it on a regular basis. So uh, we're very flexible that way. Essentially, we have software from standalone applications to fully integrated e-commerce web solutions okay so i mean it's part of part of uh our, our software on the, on the print end we um we can export templates so that we could you know do our layouts you know on the digitally versus in in the rip you know is that, is that something that your software can do as well uh you know possibly to merge it with the print side of it Yes, we can. We certainly can export the um, the images or e export the design in a, a number of different um, uh, file types. As mm -hmm. well, we can import images in a lot of different file types, DXF, PLTs, rasters, bitmaps, GIFs, TIFFs. Uh, it's a very extensive range. So we do have the interactivity to 
pull in or push out content. Right. Awesome. Yeah, that, that was actually one of my next questions, you know, what kind of formats we're working with, but thanks for answering that. Um, so it, it looks like, you know, it, it really does have a lot of capabilities, especially on the graphics end. Is this kind of a standalone graphics program or is it, you know, is it exclusive for your lasers or can you link it with other equipment? Yeah, good question. We do have some customers that utilize Grava style laser um, with competitive lasers. Of course, we do it with ours as well. Our machines aren't dependent on that software. They can be driven from uh, Illustrator, CorelDRAW. I have some customers that are driving it from Excel. So the opportunity does exist to, to drive our lasers from open source software, and we can drive third-party lasers provided you have a Windows driver for that laser. Oh, wow. OK. That's great to know. Um, so uh your 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 uh, that that widget one was also pretty cool uh the the, the qr uh phone widget um is that something that can be incorporated to like you know online shops and things like that or, or is it something that's just exclusive also to yours no no it can certainly be incorporated several of our software products are really set up to uh, interact with amazon woocommerce um um, Shopify, so we can we can set up a graphic interface for your website, push the orders through the website. We can, for for instance, for a national chain, we can set that up so that a customer can come in, place their order, and then select the pickup location, and the routing goes to that pickup location. Oh wow! Oh, so yes, it's kind of an all over package. Yeah, it's quite elaborate. Um, and, and kind of one of the things I want to back up a little bit to is you asked about printing input, printing output. Um, our lasers can can be run directly from FineCut. So we have the tie-in. We support um, the optical registration right from FineCut as well. Awesome! Great to know. Uh, I, I wasn't sure that they had a tie-in with fine cut. Um, so is, is, is it kind of a similar, is it based, you know, in spot color um, basis or layer basis, is that kind of like fine cut yes. as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Exactly. I, I, we're, we're basically assigning how the machine would process based on the color and what, what uh, assignment has been giving to that color. So when it comes out of the RIP software, we're interpreting that as well. Okay, awesome. Yeah, uh, Rashling does have kind of the a couple options. It does a spot color, uh, and in addition, it all it can also identify by layer. So that's great to uh, uh, that, that it that it works with it as well. So excuse me. So fine cut actually fine cut is what what we interact with. Yes, I am so sorry. That's what I heard. Is that not what you we said? <laughs> I know when when you're focused on trying to. Keep maintain eye yeah. contact over here. Your words get a little mangled. Um, okay, so that was a great segment on on your software end, um, and we're gonna play another video that talks a little bit more of the hardware and the, the hardware solutions um, that uh, our customers are gonna be interested in. Uh, so, without further ado, I am gonna play that one. Gravitech services a wide market, including aerospace and traceability, fabrication, gifts and personalization, trophy and awards, and the signage industry. We offer several technologies to these industries, including lasers, dot pane markers, scribing markers, rotary engravers, as well as offering a wide range of engraving materials and engravable gift items. Rotary engravers offer the most aesthetic mark. Lasers are offered in a range of energies, including CO2, fiber, hybrid, and green lasers. Dot peen markers offer very fast permanent marking. Scribing mar markers offer silent, deep engraving for VIN numbers. Let's take a look at some of the laser technologies now.
Wow.
Gravitech produces over 1,200 SKUs of laminated plastics for engraving, lasering, routing, and digital print, in addition to wood products, acrylics, and a wide range of engravable gift items, in addition to sign blanks, name badges, and cut-to-size fabrication services. Gravitech's global service capabilities include audit expertise, uh, installation and orientation equipment uh, commissioning, uh, field and phone-based technical service, along with web-based self-help instruction and web-based uh, training via remote terminal emulation. Additional resources can be found at our social media pages. We have two YouTube pages. The first is Gravitech Group, which is our international YouTube page. You also can find us at Gravitech USA. In Gravitech USA, you'll find uh, hundreds of videos highlighting equipment, materials, and processes. Also playlists that cover applications, as well as self-help tutorials on software and engraving processes. For more information, contact your local Mamaki representative or contact Gravitech directly at gravitech.us. Our consumables website is gravastoreusa.com or email us at salesus at gravitech.com. Thank you, Anthony, for that. That was a great presentation. I'm actually going to, going to uh, leave that contact card at the end of the video up okay. a little while longer. Gravitech.com. My email at my name, Anthony.Harris at Gravitech.com. Uh, so if you have questions, uh, need some guidance, I'm always happy to help. Also, I mean, and of course, they can contact us as well. Uh, we also have some of the resources on our uh, on our main page, mamakiusa.com. Um, the, mm -hmm. the two QR codes that are on the screen now, the left one will go to uh, a bit of information about Gravitech. The right one will take you right to our um, machine brochure. Basically, we've just scratched the surface of the machines that we offer in these videos. Uh, it's a, a much broader range that was represented here. So for a good view of the entire line, that um, information QR will get you a good picture of, of our hardware. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, I noticed, I, I, I knew that Gravitech had a really extensive line of machines, but um, I didn't realize that there were so many types of lasers. Um, so how would one choose, like, you know, what, what are some of the... Uh, main uses for like the CO2 laser versus uh, the fiber versus the hybrid machine, you know, or, or, or what, are, what, are, what are some of the green options that uh, were mentioned in the video? Okay. Yeah, so it, it really comes down to the type of materials that you're going to process. CO2 works really well with organic materials. Um, it has a wide spectrum of materials it can work with, but it can't mark bare metal. And it can't cut metal. So when we start looking at, at putting permanent marks onto metal, etching into metal, or cutting through metal, then we start looking at the fiber and hybrid uh, laser sources. The green laser source is a cool laser, so it will do some interesting things with materials like plastic. So um, where the CO2 laser depends on you revealing the color below the surface, the green laser can modify the color of the plastic. So black plastic can be white or gray. White plastic can be black. So you see that a lot on electrical connectors uh, and industrial applications, but also the green laser does beautiful uh, black marking on gold and, and sterling silver. So wow. we have a on the website, we have an elaborate chart of materials and applications by laser technology. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had no idea that they would, they would mark it, you know, with any kind of color. That's yeah. a really interesting uh, application. Yeah, we um, actually can take the fiber laser and get green, red, orange, blue uh, colors out of it, depending on the frequency on certain metals. 
Oh, wow. That's great to know. Like, I mean, we probably could incorporate that to some of the, our print applications. Um, sorry, did, uh, you mentioned that uh, there was something, there was a, um, you produce gantry and galvo lasers. Um, you know, can you tell us the difference between them? Like, why would uh, a customer choose between them? Certainly. The Galvo laser is very, very fast. It's moving at about 2,000 millimeters a second, so in the blink of an eye. But it has a limited work area, typically a smaller work area. Um, so if you need to do really fast one-offs or you're loading, unloading with robots, it's a great solution. If you need to do larger items or you need to put a batch of 200 items into the bed of a laser, push start, come back in 45 minutes and your 200 items are done, then the gantry lasers really lend themselves to those type applications. Okay, so it's more of a production volume that you know one would go for one or the other. Oh, that's great. Um, also in the video, I, I noticed that you were uh, doing uh, Braille applications, which is something, you know, this is of course something that I've personally been working a lot with here uh, now that we're printing Braille with the UJF series. Um, can you tell us advantages um, kind of between both of them? Uh, I, I noticed that you did have a printed one, but uh, I wasn't, you know, I, I, I'm not 100% sure how that one was produced. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so the, the signs that, that had color elements to them, uh, other than two color, we printed with the Mamaki UJF series. So it's fabulous to do second surface printing on it. And then you can process the, the raster braille and the tactile lettering far faster with the rotary engraver. And in many materials, it's going to be a lot more durable um, as opposed to digital print because you have, you know, adhesion can be a problem if you have humidity and thermal changes often uh, whereas the routed method um, you're not having to lay layer after layer being down so it can be a much faster process okay but of course you know there, there are applications where the printed braille would be much more advantageous because you know there are objects that you can't put in, onto your machine yes uh you know so you know as you know we print on anything up to six inches tall on the ujf series you know we're not going to be sticking that kind of item on and your uh uh braille application machine um and besides that you know there, there are other applications that would just be it depends on also again the volume would be a big deal like if it's not part of their business you could do one-offs and stuff like that Exactly. So it really comes down to what's the best tool for your application, your needs. Absolutely. Both are, are wonderful solutions in the right circumstances. Yeah. So I did notice that, um, that part of one of your running themes uh, through a lot of your um, through your workflow is integration, you know, and, and it's, it's automation. And that's, you know, if, if operators can be as hands off as much as possible, where there's, you know, there's less room for error. Um, are there other applications um, or do you have other other web based applications to integrate, you know, the machines print through printing and uh, through your uh, engraving and laser machines? Yeah, absolutely. We have some software um, solutions that provide workflow through fulfillment centers, you know, large scale fulfillment centers. We also um, can integrate our solutions. Again, we only looked at a few of them here, but we have solutions that we can load and unload with robotic processes. Uh, we can do batch trays going in and out. We make fixturing, uh, do automatic feeders. So if a customer is doing just, for instance, serial rating tags, we can stack 250 tags in a feeder, hit start, and it's going to spit out 250 tags, each with unique information that was fed in by a data sheet or ASCII file. So, oh. We, okay. you know, we, we hit all spectrums. We have a, a customization department in-house that helps with integrators to apply these machines. I mean, these, these are the same solutions in many cases that we're using on General Motors and Chrysler assembly lines. Oh, wow. That's great for, you know, the high volume producers. Uh, you know, of course, you know, I'm more in the demo center. So, you know, we're constantly working with one-offs, things like that. But uh, I always love to hear, you know, how our customers can integrate things into, you know, super high volume things. And I think that's one of the things that's unique about us is we do hit such a, a wide range of markets and applications that we have to build everything bulldog tough. So it, it has to withstand those, you know, hundreds of thousands of cycles. Um, so your average retail customer also ben benefits from that technology and, and level mm -hmm. of construction. Yeah, and that that's the same the same for our machines that we prefer that they're constantly running. We like to put them in production settings where they're just 
they're constantly moving is uh what you know we say that the machines tend to be the happiest um so um, okay no that's that, that's great that we can integrate these um we are just about uh, out of time um and if there are no more questions i've tried to integrate all the questions um i don't see any questions in our questions chat uh i'd like to end this say thank you everyone for joining us um Today, uh, Innovations Days, uh, we still have uh, one more session with 3D. Check it out. These guys do really cool uh, uh, 3D prints. But thank you, Anthony, for joining us today. It's been a great learning experience you know, for me personally to learn more about Gravitech. Um, thanks for joining us. You know, Thanks for being part of Innovation Days. Thanks, Hugo. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye.